Uh, I'm Glenn Wilkins. I've been crossfitting for about a year and a half now. And Nicole Wilkins, year and a half. It all goes back to two Christmases ago. We were out in Austin, and Glenn's sister and her and brother-in-law they looked great. Asked what they've been doing. They said, "Oh, we we CrossFit." The sister invited us to go to a workout. I ended up going with her, and it was hard and it hurt, and I couldn't move the next day, but I loved it. So we came back home, and I told Glenn, I said, "There's this gym right down the street. No excuses. I call. They can get us in. I'm going to go try it out. If you want to come." Come with me. Let's check it out. And I went because she told me to. It was a <laughs> smart man. Yeah, I, I wasn't inclined to go, but then I figured I might as well give it a shot. And man, I love it. Uh, I, yeah, I've, I've lost 40 pounds with doing the paleo diet and CrossFit. We do five days a week and just gain muscle, lost fat, and fit into clothes better, lost uh, two or three pant sizes. So it's been good. I've lost 25, um, feel stronger, health is better, more active, feel like I can keep up with my boys, running around with them. Um, we're definitely more active and I'd say our biggest change at home has been the way we eat. We try and eat clean, we eat paleo, we um, encourage our kids to do the same. We don't make them strict paleo, but we definitely watch what we eat as a whole. The biggest thing is anything meat, fruits, and vegetables. You know, the old saying, if it didn't have a face, I probably don't need to eat it. But, uh, so, you know, we, we really backed up on the dairy, no grain, no rice. We found a lot of really, it, the, the neatest thing is that it actually expanded our palate. So we found different things that we could eat. I always hated cauliflower. We eat cauliflower probably two or three times a week now. We blend it up as a rice. Um, just so many different things that we're eating. And it's just been a lot more fun. And I, I think that I've experienced new, new cuisine, new foods, and, and different ways to cook, and that's fun. And it's funny when we eat something that we haven't had for a while, something with wheat or ice cream or something, it's amazing how bad you feel. The pain, actual pain. <laughs> Your body's telling you not to eat it. Mm, for me, probably pull-ups. Being able to do a strict pull-up or two has been really cool. Uh, mine is probably muscle-ups and then getting second at the garage games in the old man category. So. <laughs> uh, I, I tell them it's just, it's absolutely good for you. It's fun. You'll enjoy it. Especially if you have an addictive personality, like I said yesterday, uh, it's something you always want more of. And if, if you get into it and buy into it and listen and shut your mouth and go into the car, you'll enjoy it. It's definitely, I don't know, I tell my friends, you get stronger, you'll be toner. Um, I used to be a day walk, run type of person, never did anything for me. I could have walked five, eight miles a day and never seen any results. This has just totally changed the way that I look at exercise and eating. I feel like it's just such a friendly family atmosphere. We have made some great friends. Um, I just almost feel like I'm coming home every day I come to the gym. So my biggest thing is form. They teach you to do it right. They don't uh, teach you to do it fast and just get it over with. They'll slow you down, they'll scale you down. And it's, let's get it right, let's not get hurt, and let's keep coming back day after day and, and learn more and get better.